Okay, let's start off um, seated, the eyes closed. And then just bringing the attention to the breath. Watch one part of the body that is responding to that breath that washes in and washes out. Let's sense the gentleness behind that breath. And let's look to letting that gentleness fill up our being so that as we practice for the next few minutes, we, we're practicing that gentleness. So even as you begin to deepen the breath now, letting that gentle uh, rhythm of the breath continue. Maybe the rhythm changes a little bit, but it still has that gentle quality to it. We're going to chant Om three times to begin our practice today. So even as we approach the sound, let's, let's do so in a gentle way. So we'll take a deep breath in. Let's take our practice to the back, coming all the way down, and then bringing the knees into the chest. Arms can come around those knees and sway a little bit side to side. The inhalation and the exhalation. Let's have them match in length, but if you feel like uh, you need to release some internal pressure, then let the exhalation last a little bit longer. If you feel like you need to increase your energy a little bit, then let the inhalation last a little longer, but be consistent about it. So every inhalation matching all the other inhalations and same for the exhalation, matching all the other exhalations. Now let's take the feet up and come into happy baby. Hands to the feet. And maybe swaying still or maybe playing here and taking the legs out further or bending one leg more deeply and extending the other. Let's uh, have a moment of some free, free movement, free play.
about three more deep breaths. And let's take the feet down, but keep the hands to the feet. So we're just lowering the feet, keeping a deep bend in the knees, and just start to push the feet in. So notice where you're feeling the stretch, and you kind of might change this a little by pushing the feet into the hands, and then push the hands back into the feet, drawing the knees back, back towards the shoulders, keeping the hips down, and then pushing feet into hands. What do you feel engaging here? And then pushing hands into feet. What do you feel? Engaged or stretching? So let's go back a few more times. Pushing feet into hands. That really, really, I've never actually experienced that before, but I sensed that I wanted to try it. So <laughs> feeling that actually it's quite effective when we pull the feet back and then push the feet back into the hands and then draw the feet back. And then we're just going to be here for a moment, releasing the hands from the feet and prying the legs open with the arms. And we can do the same thing here. We've done this in seated before. So we can push the legs into the hands or the arms and the arms back into the legs and then just push the legs down and feeling the groin stretching and then again pushing in and then Pressing just the legs down. A couple more times, resisting arms and legs, and then pressing legs down again. And then continuing to just press the legs for about three deep breaths. We're going to come over to the left side. So what we'll do is just release the right leg and draw the right knee over to the left and then just let the left arm pillow the head. So the knees are same direction as the belly button at this time. We're going to take a hold of the right foot and draw that right knee forward. And let's do a little bit of motion here with the shoulder. So as we're pulling that foot back, we're going to roll the right shoulder forward and then back. Rolling it forward and back. And then just keep that shoulder back as you send that right knee forward without lifting the thigh. We want to keep the thigh in line with the rest of the um, body trunk. Now see if you could pull the pelvis in just a little bit. Relax the pelvis. And then let's release the right leg on top of the left. And then we'll roll over to the right side. And I'm going to flip around too so I can keep facing you. So right arm underneath the head, knees stack, left knee on top of right, same direction as the belly button, and we'll take a hold of the left foot and taking the knee forward, keeping the thigh level with the, the trunk, the hip, and then this left shoulder, taking that shoulder and you know, I don't remember if we did front, forward, back, forward, back, or circles. So just kind of do what feels right. And then keeping the shoulder back. Pulling the pelvis in. <sighs> and 
and releasing, stacking knee on top of knee. And then rock back to center on the back with the knees into the chest. Let's give the knees a big squeeze as we lift the head. And then we can lower the head. Let's roll to one side, press our way up to seated and come to hands and knees actually. We're gonna articulate the spine. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, belly sinks down, head and tailbone lift. Exhale, belly lifts up, head and tailbone down. A few more of these. Especially when you are in your cat and you're lifting the belly up, pull the pelvic floor up too. And let's find our way to cow with the belly sunk in, the tailbone shifting upwards and into downward facing dog just for about five breaths. So roll over the toes, lift the knees, take the hips back, press into the palms, spread the fingers. Shake the head out a little bit. And then let's bring the knees down into table and then into heart chakra posture. So we'll take the hands forward and bring the forehead down to the mat or to a block, with the hips over the knees. And once we're here, let's lift the head for a breath. So looking forward. And then exhaling, lowering the forehead back down. A few deep breaths here. Just watching what the body is going through as you shift and reshape and shape again. Another deep breath. Okay, we'll start to rise up and come to forearms actually. So we've got the elbows under the shoulders now and we're just going to lift the right leg behind. You can look slightly forward past the short side of the mat here. So we're See, maybe lift the left or the right leg as high as it'll go. So you have some nice strengthening in the uh, um, upper arms and the shoulders. Squeeze the shoulders back. And we're strengthening the back body here. I'm going to take three more deep breaths. Now, even as we're testing the body still, see if you can sense that gentleness behind everything that we're doing. And then let's lower the right knee. Okay, you notice the right glute, the left glute, different sensations there. And then when you're ready, inhale, pick up the left leg, send it back, but then send it up nice and high. However, whatever that means for your body. Squeeze the shoulders back.
head slightly lifted, so looking forward past the mat. Got three more breaths. And we'll lower the left knee down and come into child's posture for a moment. Hips come down, head comes down, relaxing in. So as we're shifting into the evening, <clears throat> um, we're, we're shifting into probably a very active day or at least a somewhat active day. And sometimes in activity, we can kind of feel a sense of pressure and feel um, some stress, right? We, we, we experiencing stress on our minds, stress on our bodies. And we're now letting ourselves experience a gentle existence, a gentle sense of being. Even as the body, we're putting a little pressure on the body, putting it into different positions. And so this is what yoga teaches us, one of the many things. So maybe three more breaths, just focusing on that, that gentle sense of being without any sense of pressure or internal conflict about it. Maybe a nice sigh out. And then we'll be rising up to a table posture. And then let's take this right leg back again. This time we're on the hands. Right leg goes back. But then we'll set the right foot outside of the right hand and then take the left knee as far back as we can. Uh, we'll keep the top of the foot, left foot on the mat, and then maybe move around in this right leg, just taking the right knee to the right a little bit. Um, eventually, we're going to let the foot stay planted, and then we're gonna lower down. So that might mean hands down and just sinking the hips down. It might mean that your hands are on blocks to keep you up a little bit, or it might mean that the hands can be on the mat. Maybe it means your forearms can come down. And take a few deep breaths. One more breath. Hopefully you feel some sense of release here. And then we'll start to come out. We could have stayed there a little longer, but we're gonna switch. So we'll take that right foot back and we start in a table and we'll take the left leg back and then plant the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Scooch the right knee far back. Keep the left knee over the left ankle. And then again, feel it out. Uh, we, we did move this leg a little bit, open and close the leg. And then keeping that left foot planted, starting to lower down. So in this position, I don't like to leave my head hanging loose like this. So sometimes it feels really nice. So kind of see, you know, maybe it feels good. Um, but otherwise, I do like to keep the head lifted to some degree, keep the neck active because um, the muscles in the back of the neck, they tend to get really long and weak based on the way that we use our bodies and technology. So uh, I like to keep the head kind of uh, working against gravity here so I can keep strengthening the back of the neck.
couple more breaths. There we go, nice little release. So we'll start to come out of this. And uh, we're not going to take any standing postures today. So we're just going to come right to uh, seated. And let's work with the arms for a moment. So the next inhalation, reach the arms upwards. Exhale, bring the palms together, bring the thumbs in towards the chest. And here we can move the head a little bit, so we're also going to work with the neck. Head lowers. Inhale, reach the arms up. Head comes back. Exhale, hands together. Lower the hands and the head. A few more of these. Okay, once we've lowered the hands here, then we'll take the arms out to a T, and then let's exhale and side bend to one side, doesn't matter which. Inhaling, coming to center. Exhaling, other side, a few more of these. And one more time. And then we'll come to center and switch the order of the ankles. Now we'll inhale, reach the arms up, and then we'll twist to the right, exhaling left hand to right knee, right hand behind. Get tall and turn by pressing into the hands and twisting the neck, turning the head to the right. Inhale, come to center, arms can reach up. Exhale, twist left. Get tall and press into the hands, turning. And we'll inhale, come to center. You can reach the arms up. And we'll exhale, palms together, thumbs to the heart center. Bring the hands down. You could just fold them into each other and just lower them. And then we'll turn the head left and right a few times. Open up the neck. Bring the head to center. Lift the right ear. Couple deep breaths. Head to center, lift the left ear. And head to center. Move the head a little bit. And then we'll come to center and take the legs out to a V, just about ready to rest. So let's sit up tall keeping the hands behind for some support, and then move the feet in circles. We can flex and point a few times. And then we'll keep the feet flexed and begin to walk forward, keeping the back straight. So even if that means that we just take the hands a, a step forward, that's fine. But then little by little with every breath, every sense of that gentle sense of being in the body, 
we can relax into the posture and maybe walk the hands forward even just a little bit. Close the eyes, feel the gentleness of the eyelids, the gentleness of the breath. You might even feel like a wave-like motion as you inhale and you feel that the chest, the trunk, the head lift a little as you exhale. They can sink down, inhaling, feeling that wave-like motion rising, exhaling, feeling it lower. Now, as you're low, wherever you are, just walk over towards one leg and take a couple breaths. And over to the other leg and a couple breaths there. Come back to the center and go as deep as you can. We'll take a full breath here. And then rise up. And we're going to come all the way down to our backs. <clears throat> Quick little uh, reclining pigeons. Take the right ankle on top of left thigh and pull the left leg in. Keep the right foot flexed. Left foot, I like to flex it too in this posture. <sighs> A couple deep breaths. Could definitely spend more time in this posture any time of the day without even warming up the body. And then we'll switch legs. Another deep breath or two. And releasing, releasing the legs completely, releasing the arms completely. <clears throat> We're coming now into Shavasana, so letting the limbs become heavier and heavier. <clears throat> and what we can do as we're coming into that uh, place of rest is completely activate everything in the body and then completely deactivate everything. That includes that breath in. So let's inhale and then create fists, close the eyes tight, activate biceps, the glutes, the thighs, everything. Clench the, the jaw, the toes, and then exhale. <sighs> Relax the entire body. Relax any effort in the breath. Just let the body be in this gentle experience of simply lying down, simply breathing. There's a very low sense of activity. And for you, there's really no activity at all. You have nothing to do at this time. Being completely inactive. Watching that the body can exist. you having to push it sensing that all the fingers and all the toes can totally relax the palms are flipped up the toes turned away from each other and now sensing that the hands and the feet can completely relax there's nowhere to travel there's nothing to hold And so the arms can also wrap, relax completely and become heavier, and the legs can too, just letting them all relax. The head can release completely and the brain can soften and just become more and more gentle in its state. It is relaxing more deeply as you rest and remain inactive.
but as active as your awareness so now shifting your awareness to the whole head letting the head relax and then letting the neck release and relax and allowing the trunk the shoulders to release the chest the rib cage the belly the hips all relaxing the whole back is relaxed and just allowing the body to be as it is allowing the mind to be as it is allowing your feelings your emotions to be as they are resting completely Slowly just begin to become aware of that gentle motion of the body, that wave-like motion of the body as it responds to that breath, the flowing of energy that rides the breath. Feel that gentleness, fill every cell of your body, feel it flowing through your veins, feeling, filling your eardrums. Feel that gentleness in your eyes and in your throat and in your heart center, in your solar plexus in your belly and in your pelvic region. Feel that gentleness moving through the whole body and begin to breathe into the body a little bit more deeply. So as you can start to breathe more deeply, feel that the breath is filling the whole body, even going through the fingernails and the, and the, the toenails soles of the feet, the palms, the ears, the crown of the head, the back of the neck. Feel the elbows and the knees receiving that breath. 
Feel all of the organs receiving that breath, every tissue of the body. And now start to move the body, move hands, move the feet. Stretch the arms behind and find length. And then bring the knees in, wrap the arms around the knees. Rising to seated. Let's close our practice today again with the sound of Om, just as we begin it, and with the intention that we will carry this gentle existence forward with ourselves and with others. Palms together, taking a deep breath in. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I honor the light in you that is the same light in me. Namaste.